my journey to a financial advisor is a little bit different to most and as Graham Connors would say, I've, I've taken the road less travelled but uh, I feel like I have found my way home to a career that I'm um, very passionate about. Uh, so I'll give you a quick back background to, to me. Uh, I grew up on a cane cattle property uh, west of Mackay and one of the things I used to love about um, being on a farm was taking theoretical solutions to a problem and, and putting them into practice and seeing how they went. And um, uh, there's some of my fondest memories are, uh, you know, putting some ideas into practice on the farm with my father, but um, kind of led me down the path of an engineering career, uh, which I started out with Shell and BHP, and that that was pretty much a project management career um, as opposed to detail engineering, but. Um, I was very fortunate in that journey to have some good guidance from my parents around managing money and um, Dad wheeled me into uh, Allman Partners as a client when I was 18 years old uh, to get the advice and to get a plan and, and stick to the plan which um, I'll be forever thankful for. Um, but those conversations with my advisor over the years um, kind of made me very aware of the values, my own values and the family values and the things that were important to our family and the conflict that I had between my career success and uh, those things that are important to us. And in later years, um, an opportunity ended up opening up um, at Allman Partners to become a partner and advisor I am today, which I also feel extremely grateful for um, because I love what I do. But now I've been in the industry for a while. Um, I get the, the joys of uh, helping clients achieve their own goals and go down the path and the journey that I went through. Um, I often get the question from, uh, from friends and family, do I miss the project management role um, uh, that, that I was doing? And I view it as I'm, I'm still doing a project management role. I'm just not managing a multi-billion dollar project for, for BHP or Shell. I'm, I'm managing a portfolio of client projects where I'm helping them achieve something that's extremely important to them and I don't think I need to explain the difference in between uh, how rewarding uh, this role is in helping people achieve things that matter to them personally and their families versus um, you know I guess adding to BHP, BHP's bottom, bottom line. Well I'll start by saying that I think that uh, professional networks are a must for all advisors and uh, firms, to, to be honest. Um, but you've got to find the right network for you or create your own network that's right for you and your business. Um, the main thing you need to remember with professional networks is the formula of you give twice to what you get. Um, if you've got that formula right, then you'll um, gain a lot from being in professional networks. But the three networks that I think um, have the most significant impact for me uh, and our business over time have been uh, the Financial Planning Association, FPA, um, CFEX, which is a quality assurance network, and um, our Global Association of Independent Advisors network. In terms of my benefit though, my interactions with members of the Gaia firms has only deepen my maturity and knowledge as a professional and as a business owner and inspires me, continually inspires me to understanding that the impact that we can have on people's and families' lives around the world is only limited by us. So that leads into the, not all advisors are the same, uh, realisation that I've had in my time as being an advisor. I came to the industry being a client of Allman Partners for many years and then as an advisor at Allman Partners. So I've found over the years that I've been a little bit naive around the fact that I thought all advisors provided a level of service that Allman Partners do. But my learning is that it's like our industry is like calling physiotherapists, chiropractors, specialists, dietitians, calling them all doctors and then the public trying to navigate their way through which one they should go and see because everyone's called a financial planner <laughs> whether they are doing insurance or they're doing um, you know broking or um, doing what we do so the first challenge that I've, I've, I've noticed is that differentiating is, is really important. So my realisation is that combining goals-based, values-based, holistic financial planning 
bolstered by an academic philosophy to investing is actually extremely rare to come across. Um, and something that we've got at Allman Partners is extremely unique and um, it excites me to think uh, how much of an impact that we can have on clients in being confident, having peace of mind about their futures. Um, that also ties into what excites me about the profession um, and being able to change the way people think about financial planning. So in closing on that, the biggest challenge we have is educating people to make informed decisions about their money and inspiring them to achieve something better than they thought they could achieve because they're now planning for it and they're now tracking against it. So if, if we can do that, well, then we're only going to help the industry, we're going to have more of an impact on uh, their communities around us. And um, to think that we are in a position to, to do that is, uh, is empowering. Oh, that's the easy, easy question. I love my business partners. I love the team I work with. I love my clients. I've got the, got the best client community you could ever ask for. Uh, I love the energy that everyone in Allman Partners exudes in order to live out our mission, which is to lead, educate and inspire. So I feel extremely fortunate where I work and um, it's easy to get caught up in the weeds on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, who wouldn't want to come and work in an environment that we've got at Allman Partners?